Well, it's been a long weekend, but uh, went up. I was gonna get just fenders. Buddy was giving them to me, but uh, couldn't get them off the Jeep without absolutely destroying them. So I ended up with a basically rust free. I mean, there's some surface rust here and there. But like, even that's still solid. Been all undercoated. Ended up with that whole front clip for 250 bucks, so couldn't hardly say no to that. And I had, it was a three hour-ish drive to go get it. I already had $100 into getting there, so figured I might as well just buy it while I was there and not waste a trip. By myself, so I'm gonna shut the camera off, get it carried in, and then uh, see what we can't do for installing it. Hopefully get it going today and get it out of the garage. So getting the front clip on. Um, you do have to notch out for the shock and wearing harness is obviously different. So I'm just stringing in the original one here. Gonna get it plugged in. Gonna get the fuse box mounted up. I got it so it actually fires up the key now instead of having to be a push button. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna get this harness in and then somewhere I have the headlights out of my S10 I think they'll fit in here they're square with like halos they're pretty cool so yeah just gonna keep going in got the headlights in they're nice and bright let me shut the flashers off because the camera don't like that by the looks of it Shut it off, but we got dims. And yep, lights work. Dim sprites. Those down there. Not gonna work. Don't need those. I'll turn the headlights off from the hazard so you can see. But with these headlights, they're about right down. Now I just gotta get the tail lights on. It's uh, what day is it right now? Right now it's Wednesday, Wednesday night. We're hoping to go wheel on Friday. No tail lights. None of them LPs, but we don't need those anyway. Uh, no tail light. No mirrors. I guess we got that mirror. We got those mirrors there. Those need to go up there. No hood. I don't have a, uh, oh, I don't have a spare YJ hood laying around. I do on um, that YJ, but that thing is rust free and a little bit too nice to wrap parts off for this hoopty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the TJ hood. The only difference that I have found is the latch. Uh, YJ's, the secondary or primary, whatever you want to call it. Latches on the rad support. The TJ's, the secondary latch comes off the hood and latches onto the rad support. So I'm just not going to rock that latch and rock those two latches and call it good enough. For an air filter, I'm probably just going to find something that fits over that. Slap it down on it, throw a zip tie on it, call it good enough. Or just let it eat dirt. It's 4 oh, it don't really matter. Um, battery box, I still gotta come up with. Fuse box, I gotta zip tie down. Gotta do something with all this wiring. It's not real legit. That's, by the way, that's a brake line. That's, I, I didn't do that. But I just thought that had to be shown. Alright, oh, well, I'm gonna try to get some taillights in this thing tonight. And I'll catch up with you then.